Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. You got one of the most iconic mascots in the world. In the 90s, he was like the cool kid on the block. A system seller to the Sega Genesis. I mean, just look at this shit. Sega? Sega who? Wrong answer, pal. Show him. Wow. That's badass. On the Genesis, he starred in four amazing games. You got Sonic 1, 2, 3, and my personal favorite, Sonic and Knuckles. These games are just pure gold and are a blast to play even till this day. I always wish there was another Sonic the Hedgehog game. You know, when I was a kid, obviously there's a shitload of sequels out there now. But when I was younger, I always wished I had a Sonic the Hedgehog 4 or a Sonic and Knuckles 2, which I prefer. But there never really was. Or at least I don't think so. Never really bothered to check, to be honest. And I mean, just put yourself in my position. It's the 90s. You're a Sega fan. Mario's slow as shit. And you're just itching for more blast processing. You need more Sonic and you're already worn out from playing too much Super Nintendo. Well, I did my research and what if I told you that there is more Sonic games on the Genesis? There's four to be exact, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about, the other Sonic the Hedgehog games. Now for some reason, these games like rarely ever get talked about, which is kind of interesting to me. I wonder why that is. Like are they bad? No, it can't be. How can any of these games be bad? I mean, it's fucking Sonic, right? Okay, but why are you telling me all of this? Because I just found out about a few Sonic games that I had never fucking heard about, and people gotta know. Everybody probably already knows about all this shit, but I got I gotta let people know because I have 52 subscribers that probably don't know, and I'm here for you guys, all of you guys, because I like you guys a lot. <laughs> well, alright, well, first up, let's take a look at Sonic Spinball. On a somewhat related note, what's up with making pinball games based on big franchises? You got Mario Pinball, Pokemon Pinball, Metro Pinball, and Kirby Pinball, which, I mean, I can understand because there sure is balls in those games. But Mario. I don't know, it's, it's a little weird, like, I, I personally think it should have just been like Chain Chomp Pinball or something, but yeah, so um, anyways, this game is a platforming pinball hybrid, which honestly sounds kind of cool to me, a platforming Sonic game, which is already really good, mixed with pinball? Uh, yeah, no, trust me, this game feels nothing like how a normal Sonic game should feel. To begin with, Sonic is like much slower and even jumps so slow, it's like he's on the fucking moon. It just feels delayed. The controls are just very weird in general. I almost thought my controller was busted or I thought it could have been like TV input lag. I actually had to put in a different game to test out if my controller was messing up, but it was fine. So like, what the fuck is up with that? So let me explain how you play this game. In order to beat the level, you have to beat the boss. How do you get to the boss? You have to collect all the emeralds that are in the stage. There's three in this one. There's three different pinball core sections in this level, all with some switches or some shit that you have to activate first in order to get the emeralds in the first place. Once you hit the switches, you can now advance to collect the emerald. You collect one, and now it's back to the beginning. So, you gotta work your way back up, again, trying to get the others. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, it would be simple. If the damn game lets you fucking do it! This game has no business being this hard. It's infuriating. The controls are the big problem in this game. You can't get him to go anywhere you want, and that just like really sucks when there's objects in the level you have to interact with. And whether or not it happens is completely up to the game. And that is another problem. This game relies way too much on just perfect precision and luck. The only thing you can do to help yourself is by flipping the pedals just right and by barely being able to steer Sonic in the air. Every time you smack Sonic, all your muscles tense up. You start to sweat, you do that like mm, sound like you're taking a big fat dookie. One little mistake can be fatal. 
you can feel your soul leave as you see him bounce all over the place like a fucking bouncy ball i thought okay maybe i just don't know how to play but no like really sonic just goes wherever the fuck he wants like look at this shit dude just hit the fucking button what the fuck are you doing just just hit the button oh and when you die every switch resets again so you have to activate all the switches again unfortunately i mean fortunately you do keep the emeralds you already acquired but damn this is this is just dumb and that's just being generous too from a fatal flaw that lots of retro games suffer from that is when you get game over it's back to the title screen yeah it's one of those games no saves no passwords no continues three strikes you are fucked why is it always that the difficult games are like this? And honestly, to be fair, this game is like, not too bad. It's average as best. If you can get past the fact that this game is impossible, I'd say give it a try. But right now, I'm sorry. I've had enough of this shit. Yeah, I gotta calm down. There's still a few games left to talk about and this was barely the first one. Yikes. Well, I don't know. I guess I could calm down with, uh... Painting? This is Wacky World's Creativity Studio, starring Sonic, Tails, and Echo the Dolphin. The best way I can describe this game is it's Mario Paint, so Sonic Paint. But guess what? There's no painting in this game. So this is the whole game. You move Sonic and choose from one of six planets. These planets are basically animated panoramas that you can edit. You can use a cursor to drag, delete, animate, or change sprite colors. Yes, that's the painting. Just changing colors. But there's painting in the cover. Why can't you paint? You can also edit the music that's playing in the background, which I think is clean as fuck. But sadly, this is literally it. There's nothing else to do in this game. You edit the pre-made layouts, which are the six wacky worlds, by placing pre-made stickers into the panoramas, editing their colors, and animating them or not. Mario Pay had actual painting with a coloring book, a music studio, not just loop samples, and a fly swatting minigame. For a big phrase in the title like Creativity Studio, there's not much creativity you can do. Like, you can't really create anything in this game, if you could even call it a game, besides the music part of it, but all you do is just select pre-made samples and mash them together to create a loop. But honestly, in my opinion, I still think that's kinda cool. The music should have just been the whole game instead. It should have just been like Sega Music Studio. I would be down to actually make a beat using these samples too. This game came out two years, two fucking years after Mario Paint. Mario Paint basically set the bar for them and all they had to do was just copy. But no, they saw it, if they even did, I don't even know, threw the ideas in the trash it gave us this lackluster piece of shit anyways. Imagine buying this brand new for 60 bucks. It's like eating a plain chicken wing and it's like 90% bone. And for some reason, when I try to find a complete list of Sonic games, some websites don't list this one, but Google shows it as the series as Sonic the Hedgehog. And the fandom says it's series property as well. Not to mention it has Sonic in the fucking cover. So yeah, it's, it's a Sonic game, but I can definitely see why people would rather forget about it. Kinda like how I kinda want the 10 minutes of my life I spent playing this. How are the games? They suck. Damn, really? Yeah, they suck so hard. It's like, it's like you know when you get a Capri Sun and you just like squeeze it and suck out all the juice? It's just fucking gross. It's in your ass. We're out of alcohol. <laughs> Next up, we got Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. So just immediately from playing the scenario mode, I can tell you, it's Puyo Puyo. If you're not familiar with Puyo Puyo, all you basically do is just connect four slimes of a kind and that's it. To me, this is boring as shit. No offense to people who love this, this is just boring to me. It's just not my kind of game. And that's all there is to say about it. It's just Puyo Puyo. How disappointing. To me, of course. Oh, but guess what? There was actually another sonic theme puzzle game that came out on the Genesis. It was called Sonic Eraser. You know, a lot of people might not know about this. It's a Japanese-only game, and it was distributed digitally through Meganet. 
Now what the fuck is MegaNet? Well, MegaNet was an online service for the Mega Drive, which is what we call the Genesis here in the States. Using dial-up internet, you can download some exclusive games they offered. Some of them could even be played competitively with your friends. One of those games you could download was, yup, you guessed it, Sonic Eraser. This game is considered the first Sonic-themed puzzle game even before Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And as far as I'm aware, this game never got a cartridge release. Well, how's the game? Just take a listen to this. My gosh, how obnoxious. It's basically just another matching Tetris-like game with horrible music. You got a player versus computer mode, a player versus player mode, and a player and player mode that I do not understand. Not to mention, this whole game starts with a book of Japanese text, and in case, in case for the people that didn't know, I'm fucking Mexican. Yeah, these kind of puzzle games just aren't for me, so I'm gonna pass on this too. I love games like Baba Is You. There is puzzle games that I like, but this block pattern stuff, falling down sort of puzzle games are just not my kind of thing. The whole story behind where this game came from is more entertaining than this game. What are you doing? I'm playing good games. You're done with the other games? No, I'm not actually. I still need like two more. <laughs> it's like I'm jacking off whenever I do that. I still no, I still need one more. But all the other games just honestly are just they're bad. They suck. Like they're they're ruining my buzz, actually. That's why I stopped playing them. I need to take a break or something. I think the last one I need is Sonic 3D Blast. You know, now that I think about it, that sounds kind of cool. A 3D Sonic game on the Genesis? That's exciting, actually. No, you know what? I think I think I can do that one last one. Yeah, I want to give it a go. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of excited now.